All right, everybody, welcome back to Vuln Vibes. Yeah. You know, we're always digging into the latest security stuff. And um, today we're going to be talking about something that's honestly kind of terrifying. Definitely terrifying. It's uh, this Outlook thing. Yeah. Zero click vulnerability, they're calling it. Yep. CDE 2025-21298. Officially. Officially. That's a mouthful. But really what it means is your computer can get totally pronged just by opening an email. Yeah, no clicking a link, no downloading anything, right. just looking at the email. Just looking at it. That's it. So scary. Super scary. And it all comes down to this thing called OLE. OLE. Yeah, Windows Object Linking and Embedding. Okay. You've probably used it a million times and didn't even realize it. Really? Yeah. It's what lets you like stick pictures and spreadsheets and stuff right into your documents. Oh, okay. But, um, you know, Hackers figured out a way to make bad OLE objects. Uh oh. And if they sneak those into an email, bam. Bam. Code execution on your machine just by previewing the message. So, like, if I'm just scrolling through my inbox and I see a preview. Potentially. No way. That's how bad this is. So, anybody with, like, any version of Outlook is just screwed. Well, n no, not exactly. It affects specific versions. And luckily, Microsoft already released a patch. Two. Yeah, it was part of their 2025 Patch Tuesday update. Gotcha. But uh, let's be real. Getting everyone patched, especially in big companies, that takes forever. Oh, absolutely. It's a process. So what are people supposed to do in the meantime? Like, we can't just tell everyone to stop checking email. No, definitely not. You'd probably get fired for that. Uh -huh, probably. So what can we do? Well, there are some workarounds. Microsoft has given us some tips. It's all about minimizing your risk, right? One thing you can do is set Outlook to show emails in plain text. Plain text. Yeah, it basically strips out all the fancy stuff. No images, no fonts, just plain text. So the exploit can't really hide in any of that. Exactly. Downside is your emails are going to look boring. Function over fashion. <laughs> exactly. It's a trade-off. Another thing is be super careful with RTF files. RCF. Rich text format. If you get one from someone you don't know, don't even open it. Actually, just be careful with attachments in general. Good advice. Yeah, that's like taking candy from a stranger. Don't do it. You mentioned principle of least privilege earlier. Right. What is that exactly? It sounds complicated. It's a basic security idea, really. It just means users should only have the permissions they need for their job. No you, more. So, like, if you're working in a top secret facility, not everyone gets access to every room. Exactly. You limit the damage if something goes wrong, like with this vulnerability. Makes sense. So, knowing about this stuff and taking those steps can really make a difference. Oh, and shout out to the researchers who found this vulnerability. Jaminy, Rodipal, and D4 Win come the year. From Trend Micro's Zero Day Initiative. Yeah, they're the real heroes. Absolutely, they're keeping us all safe. It's kind of crazy though that just an email can be so dangerous. Right. Makes you wonder what other everyday things could have these hidden vulnerabilities just waiting to be found. Yeah, a little unsettling. <laughs> but hey, Knowledge is power. Definitely. Stay informed, stay proactive. Couldn't said it better myself. We'll put a link in the show notes to Microsoft's documentation about the plain text thing. Go check it out. Protect yourselves. Yeah. Until next time, everybody stay vigilant. Stay safe. Knowledge is your best weapon out there in the digital world. It really is.